In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a lead pages exit pop or pop up to any of your landing pages. It's very simple to do. And the cool thing about this is that this is a great little perk or feature that's really going to help you increase your clicks, your leads, your conversions and overall sales, depending on what you're looking for. So with this landing page template, I'm just going to be using an example as if someone was going to be selling something for e-commerce. Keep in mind, you can use this for leads, you can use it for discounts, for bonuses, whatever it's going to be. So keep in mind, this is where the exit pop is going to be shown, just so we can get an idea of like the color scheme and what's going on there. So inside lead pages, you can go and create a new uh, exit pop or pop up, however you want to call it. And for this, I want to offer someone a discount. For this, the main goal is obviously to make a purchase, but maybe something's turning them off. Maybe the colors aren't right. Maybe it's just not the right size, not the right time, or maybe it's not the right price. So we can kind of use that angle to see if it's going to help get us more sales. So here's what I want to do. First, I want to get rid of this. Oops. Yes, delete. What I'm going to do is add a button. I'll drop it right here. Let's change this around. Let's make it large. Let's make it full width. Uh, primary is fine. And we can do click here to get your discount. I'm going to change this as well. How would you like a 10% discount? Sure. Also with this, we can do a customized button a little bit more. If you want flat line gradient, uh, gradient's not bad. Square round pill square looks good. I'm not going to go too deep into the aesthetics of it. Uh, customize button. We had that. Uh, go back, add click event. So no link option, link to a landing page, link to an external URL. So obviously if we're doing a discount, say we probably want to link to a page that's similar, but has a reduced price just for this example, you know, link to a landing page, or you could do, let's, let's go to like link to an external URL. Okay. Don't link to google.com. My disclaimer, they have plenty of traffic. This is just an example. Okay. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is this looks good. We don't need that since we're not collecting emails in this specific example. And then what I want to do here is, oops, click on publish. Okay, so here we have, there's going to be a few uh, publishing options when it comes to this. You can launch your pop-up when a visitor clicks on a text link. You can get the code for that. There's going to be a button link. Like say launch your pop-up when a visitor clicks on a call to action. This is going to be good if you're doing like an email subscription. So for example, someone clicks on this and then it opens your pop-up. It's kind of like micro continuity or micro commitment. This works very well for increasing your conversions. I've noticed as well. So that's something you might want to do. You can utilize an image link. You can utilize a timed pop-up. So at a specific time, you know, visits before launch, visits after launch, you can change that up. But overall, I like the exit intent pop-up. This is going to be good. Like I talked about, someone just isn't interested. This is going to be your final chance to be like, hey, are you sure you, do, you want to leave? You can get a discount. You can get an extra bonus. You can get so on and so forth. You can get a discount. You can get a special deal. You can even hop on our email list to get the discount code, whatever it's going to be. But I want to use the exit intent pop-up. Let's click on get code. What I want to do is copy this. Control C for me, whatever that is, you can just right click, copy, you know, it's going to be up to you. Let's go back to our page builder. We want to go to settings and right here, oops, excuse me. We want to go to the uh, analytics section in the head section tracking code. I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to click on save. Okay. And then I'm going to publish this. Looks good. Let's click on publish. This is just a demo page too. Great. And what I want to do is going to go here and I'm just going to view page in a new tab. So this is the example page. Say someone's looking around $70, uh, not bad, 100% cotton, measures are fine, imported. Uh, wow, a lot of great reviews, but the price might not be right. I'm going to look for something. Oh, what do we have here? How would you like a 10% discount? I'm going to go click here to get your discount. And if all works well, you know, we'll go to Google, which it has in the bottom left, which it does. We don't need to go there. They have plenty of traffic, but that's how you can set up an exit pop or a pop up, however you want to call it. These are really good. I do recommend that you add these, whether it's going to be your lead pages just for getting leads. It could be on pages where you're looking to get sales. And these are also great if you want to just increase your clicks because you can send traffic any where you want. Keep in mind when you do the exit pop, someone's either 
they're they're satisfied with what they want they're not satisfied but this is another great way to kind of direct traffic where you want it to go maybe if you have on a website or landing pages you have one special deal you want to direct traffic to you can utilize it for that kind of the sticky bars or the bars whatever they call them um the, another one of their features which are kind of similar to pop-ups is another great way but that'll be a different tutorial either way i hope this helps you out when it comes to utilizing lead pages when it comes to their pop-ups or exit pops any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and that's about it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon